Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com, and I thought I would do a spy review here today. Why? Because the market's bullish, extremely bullish today. I did call the market to be a long today. I knew the market would close green. I didn't know if the body of the green of the close of today would be small, medium, or large. As it turns out, it's going to be large. I mean, the market basically power trended since this morning. I did call the low of the day in the morning. I said, this is the low of the day, and I called the market long in the first five minutes of the day, and it's 3.04, and that number held. That was a, it was a good call. There were some people in the room that did it. I, I didn't, you know, but when I called it, I said, this is aggressive. That's what I say, because it was. Let me just show you here. And I gotta be honest with you, this was not like some amazing gap. I mean, the fact that I just called this long was just um, just me saying that the market was higher, which it is higher, and I saw that it was higher today. <clears throat> but it actually has gone to the target and past the target for the day, because really 210 was a realistic target for the market today in the SPY, and it's gotten past that. 209.50, two, and, and 210, and it's past 210 right now. But I did call the market long, I didn't call this immediately at the perfect entry here because I was looking at something else, but I did call it up around here and I gave a wide stop for it because of the fact that it needed it because the call was aggressive, but I knew where it had to be. It rallied, okay, came and did all this. You know, again, the stop had to be where it had to be. Someone in the room said the market's falling and collapsing. And I went and looked at this then at the time and I was like, no, it's not. I was like, no, it's not. It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere at all. And it, and it was nowhere you're getting stopped out. So I hope that person didn't short the market. And, you know, and I hope if they were in Atlanta, they didn't kill it. It was somebody that was on a trial. But that, again, is why you have to take my class and learn how to trade before you do any trades in the room with me or do anything at all. You have to learn how to trade. Look at look at this market. My take on this here, again, as I stated in the email or the video I did from a few days ago, actually, I did that video on the QQQs, but the reality is the market is higher and is going to make a new high. However, I don't know the timing of when it does it. And even though we had a big rally today, we'll probably be neutral, neutral in the gap tomorrow, neutral or gap up. I'd be surprised if we gap down. I have to see where we gap down if we would even gap down, but I think we'll probably be neutral neutral as far as the gap tomorrow morning in the open, but we'll see. We could gap up. I have no idea what the market's going to do tomorrow until I see where we gap in the morning, but I will say I knew we'd held today. I called it over the day. I called an aggressive play in the market today long. If you did it in the room, you made money. The market is going to do a new high. No chance of failure, 100% conviction that will happen. However, I will say one thing. I don't know when the market will make the new high. In other words, we could base like this back and forth, back and forth in this choppy range for another two weeks, month, two months, three months. I have no idea. I can tell you one thing. We're not coming all the way down to some crazy, crazy pull in that everybody thinks we're going to do. But I wouldn't be surprised. And this isn't a crazy pull in. Isn't it funny how traders just, uh, what's the word? Just like when the person said in the room today the market was falling like crazy. Exaggerate. Traders exaggerate things, which I think is hilarious. And trust me, I mean, I, I you know, I, I used to exaggerate stuff too. I mean, I think I do in my personal life, but I don't anymore in trading. I absolutely do not anymore in trading. Like, I don't see something's doing something crazy if it's really not. Like, I can tell the difference between crazy and not crazy anymore in the market or exaggeration or non-exaggeration. But let's get back to the SPY here. Beautiful move of the SPY today. Market's very, 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 very bullish. For people that have shorted this double, triple top in the market or shorted the lower highs and lower lows or didn't have conviction like I did that the market was higher, they're going to get stopped out if they shorted this. The market is higher. And let me tell you something. Even after it makes a new high, the move up on over to the next target is still not done. The market will have a bullish year that will run the rest of 2015, and unless there's some world calamity or crisis, the market should continue running bullish into 2016, okay? But I don't know the timing of when we really blast off, but I can tell you we're going to do it. I can tell that we are going to do it, and when we do it, we're going to blow, 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 okay? 
So there you have it. Beautiful rally in the market. Even though we gapped down yesterday and fell. Even though we gapped down the day before and fell. Even though we did several gap downs and several red days and have a very choppy trading activity from March, April, May, and June. The market is strong. Again, today's trading action, the way I called the uh, aggressive long of the market today and the way that it held was even gives me more conviction in the bullishness and the buying of the power in the market. And as you see, once again, do you see how this activity here, the price action that happened today, the buying came in and just went shoop, like that. And you gotta love it. I mean, you absolutely have to love it. You cannot make money in the market unless you can predict what power money is gonna do. And I am able to do that. I'm able to predict money and the moves of money and the buying of the selling that comes into stocks in the market and the market itself which is how I'm able to call the market so accurately like I did today. I mean, that was so aggressive for me to call that market immediately today. So beautiful, beautiful SPY. Trend is up. Stay with it if you're long. Good luck, everyone. We'll see what happens tomorrow in the market and the rest of the week. Have a wonderful evening. If you'd like to sign up for the next Golden Gap class, it is this weekend, June 20th and 21st, last class before third quarter earnings season starts, which is in July going to be a good summer to trade. It's going to be a lot of volatility in July and August and whether the market just has big swooping bullish days or bearish days, it is going to be a nice summer to trade. Except for I only trade the morning, which is a much, much nicer lifestyle. Have a great day, everyone. Email me at melissa.thestockswish.com if you like more information. Have a good day.